this gasket definitely needs to change because uh, it's uh, Because the uh, it's so brittle. Yep. yep. It's not. <laughs> yep. It's broken. Even the uh, the one for the spark plugs. Yep. It's not uh, flexible anymore. So I'll have a hard time taking this out. No matter how careful you are in terms of vacuum hoses you're gonna end up breaking this one I don't know I've been careful but yep so today uh, we're going to uh, replace the valve cover on my E46 um, the problem is I could see oil seepage in here down over here and lots of here so <coughs> The problem is um, when you're driving like uh, when you're at idle like say on a stop you could sometimes uh, smell a, an oil burning smell into the cabin and that indicates uh, uh, an oil leakage in your valve cover that goes into your exhaust and then it goes here into your uh, intake on your vent and uh, Basically, it means that your uh, valve cover needs replacement. So, it's gonna be an easy job. Uh, it takes a while though. But, uh, yeah, the first thing you do is basically remove this intake over here. Then, we're probably gonna remove the, uh, the secondary air pump just to get more space. Then, we're gonna take out the cover, take out the ignition coils, and then take out all these bolts in here. And then uh, clean the surface and then put new gasket in and then uh, replace everything that's it I'm taking notes of where the ground wires are the position so this one and that one and in the middle I got the bolts loosened for the ignition coils and then uh, we also have one ground wire over here yeah, I think all of that needs to be loosened. So I'm at the stage where I uh, disconnected the uh, harness for the ignition coils. Yep. So all the ground wires here are taken out. And then um, I don't think I need to get this secondary air pump. I still have more space. I'm just gonna move this uh, oxygen sensor plugs out. Uh, careful not to touch the vacuum line here because uh, they're old and they're brittle. So, I might probably break them and I don't have replacement. We've got the, uh, the, the hose and the wires out from that uh, plastic holder over there. And then this one. I have to move it inside here, outside, so that I could access the that one bolt over there. And if you look at this, this hose and wires are drenched with oil. Yeah. So, yep. Luckily, the uh, this hose is still okay. So I could actually start loosening the the bolts now this one is like a pain in the butt to actually remove because uh, they get stuck and uh, you have to be very careful because uh, you know with old age they become brittle and you might break this one so if you break this one you're gonna do a CCV repair on this one and changing this hose down here is not an easy job well, you could probably do it, but it's gonna take more time again. So, yep. So now I'm ready to take out the valve cover. Uh, there are like 15 bolts holding this one. So I got them all out. Uh, the one in the middle were all studs. So there's like four of them and the rest are bolts. Um, so 
of them are actually have their washers here and then yeah some of them actually have the whole assembly taken out like including the rubber valve cover out and looking at this it's not that bad i mean uh, um it wasn't neglected at all yeah, 150,000 miles, 151,000 miles. Uh, uh, there were some uh, condensation or uh, milky stuff in here. I think that's from the uh, uh, vapors. Yep, so far so good. I could see the most of the oil leak are from down here the springs are I mean the uh, chain tensioner still okay and no oil on these park park wheels which is good so I need to clean this up I wonder why there's no gasket material on this one should be a gasket material Probably the reason why it's probably leaking. Yep, there's the uh, there's my valve cover. This gasket definitely needs to change because uh, it's uh, the light. because the uh, it's so brittle. Yep. It's not. <laughs> Yep, it's broken. Even the uh, the one for the spark plugs. Yep, it's not uh, flexible anymore. So I'll have a hard time taking this out. Uh, luckily, this one uh, I could remove it is still intact. But the spark plug ones are. Yep. Okay. The, uh, the area cleaned and then uh, some gasket material put in there on the on the joint and then uh, over here too I need to clean this one I made a mess uh, that should be okay no matter how careful you are in terms of vacuum hoses you're gonna end up breaking this one I don't know I've been careful but yep things happen so I'm gonna try uh, find another vacuum hose with this installed and uh, this is the carnage yep look at that yeah. spark plug gaskets are really brittle usually the one uh, the gasket near the uh, exhaust area those are really like really hard the valve cover installed back again and have the hose repaired in here. Luckily, I have the old hose from my uh, uh, intake manifold runner from my uh, Ford Fusion. So that's all the noise from the uh, from the secondary air pump. Yep. So far, no leak. No smoke that I could see. So everything looks good. I still have to figure out why this one is 